Hello, I'm back again with Blood of the Day, so let's find out what blood it is. Let me give you the hint. Alright, so hint is already there in the background, I believe. Let me give you some words. Okay. And dash mass of cells with no identity at all. What word fits the best in this place? Look at the hint. The element exists in two forms. One dash, the other crystalline. And the word is amorphous. Great, so amorphous is an adjective and a formal word which usually comes before a noun. It means having no definite shape, form or structure. Okay, so let's look at the example sentence. It is a brownish amorphous solid which is insoluble in water. you could see this in the picture it's the best with the word okay so do you have any similar words in mind to morphous good shapeless vague any antonym great distinct shaped all right, let's look at the pronunciation. Remember, it's very important to learn spelling and practice pronunciation of the word. Here we have a couple of pronunciations. One belongs to British English, the other one belongs to Native American English. So first, let's find out how does it sound in British English. Amorphous. Amorphous. Once again. Amorphous. One last time. Amorphous. Amorphous. Now, let's listen to the Native American English pronunciation. Amorphous. Amorphous. Once again. Amorphous. One last time. Amorphous. So, as we could see, we have both the pronunciations, but no big difference here. As you could see in British English, R is silent, and in American English, it is not. Okay, so this is it from my side. See you again.